हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द सैन पॉइंट बेलगा वी ट्रेन स्टूडेंट्स फॉर गेट पीडब्ल्यूडी पीजीसीटी एसएससीजे एंड डब्ल्यूआरडी द मोड ऑफ टीचिंग इज थ्रू द रिकॉर्डेड लेक्चर्स लाइव लेक्चर्स एंड द ऑफलाइन क्लासरूम प्रोग्राम सो टुडे इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ आर विच केम इन ईयर टू इन द डब्ल्यू पेपर सो दे वर टोटल फाइव क्वेश्चन विच हैव बीन आस्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट so here we have the first question in which it has been asked that we have to calculate the limiting depth of the neutral axis for a flexural member so flexural member can be anything it can be a beam also for which the effective depth d is known to us and the grade of steel that we are using is fe 550 so this question is quite straight forward if we know the concept then easily this type of question can be solved in the exam also so let's see what we have to do so here the parameter that they are asking from us is the value of xu limiting you have to calculate this value of xu limiting and we have seen that this xu limiting is equal to in lectures also many times this thing has been covered this is equal to k times of d so basically they are asking the value of k for the grade of fe 550 so from here what i can do is i can put the value of k here so for k i can write it as x is limiting now substituting the value of k so the k value comes out to be 700 divided by 1100 plus 0.87 fy multiply by d so on substituting the fy value as 550 will get the desired answer now there can be a confusion here as well like whether we should use the formula of working stress method or we have to use the formula for the limit state method so here clearly it is mentioned that you have to calculate the limiting depth and this limiting depth is used for limit state method if it is working stress method then in that scenario the word that will be mentioned here is balance section for the balance section calculate the neutral axis so here we can substitute now the value of fy so let's put do that so x u limiting is x u limiting is 700 divided by 1100 plus 0.87 into 550 multiply by d so this factor comes out to be the value will come out as 0.443 times of d this is the value of x u limiting so now if we go by the options so the correct answer will be option 4 option 4 is the correct answer Now suppose if the grade was something different, it was four one five, FE four one five, or FE five hundred, or FE two fifty. So accordingly, we can calculate it. So here I am writing the values also for various grades of steel. What will be the value of this K? So on the right hand side, I am writing K, and on the left hand side, I am writing the grade FE. So if it is FE two fifty, the value will be zero point five three. If the grade is four one five, the value will be zero point four eight. If the value of the steel grade is say five hundred, then it will come out as zero point four six. And just now we have calculated for five fifty, the value is zero point four four. So you can remember this table; it will be quite handy when you have to solve these kind of numericals in the exam. Let's move forward to our next problem. so the next problem is saying that we have a concrete beam the dimension of the beam have been given to us and the grade of the concrete and the grade of the steel are also known now this beam it can take the ultimate bending moment of 150 kN meter that means the value of mu is given to us this is the ultimate value this is 150 kN 150 kN meter and it has been asked when we have to design this beam whether it will be designed as a single reinforced beam it will be designed as a doubly reinforced beam the beam cannot be designed or it will be designed as a balanced beam so whenever we are going for the designing designing of the beam what we basically do is whatever bending moment is given to us we are going to compare that bending moment with the limiting bending moment limiting means for the balance section we are going to calculate and after comparing both the values 
we can comment whether it can be designed as a singly reinforced beam or it can be designed as a doubly reinforced beam. So, let us calculate the value of MU limiting first. So, what is the formula for calculation of MU limiting? So, there are two ways by which it can be calculated. One is this one QBD square. This formula we can use. Where the value of Q is what? Q can be written as 0.36 FCK FCK into K into J multiply by BD square. So, this is one of the formula which can be applied. So, let us calculate by this formula then we will see what is the other formula by which directly it can be computed. Although both the formulas are same only but there is a slight difference in just the representation. Here we can represent it by QBD square. So, now let us substitute the values. So, 0.36 FCK is given to us that is M20 grade is given. So, 20. Now, the value of K. So, in limit state just now we have seen the value of K for grade of steel of 415 will be considered as 0.48. Now, next is J. Now, if I talk about the formula of J. So, J is basically 1 minus 0 0.42 times of K. This is the formula for J. So, let us write the value here. 1 minus 0 0.42 multiply by 0.48 this is the value of this is the value of j multiply by bd square so b is given as 300 and the effective depth is known as 400 square and uh, we have to divide it by 10 raised to power 6 because we want the moment value to be in kilonewton meter then only we will be able to compare it with mu which is given in the problem so on substituting the values the answer that we are going to get will be somewhat near to this value 132.44 kilonewton meter so this is our this is our mu limiting value so let me tell you another way of calculating the same thing so mu limiting mu limiting can also be computed by considering the compressive force multiplied by lever arm so compressive force what is compressive force 0.36 from the stressed block diagram, we are getting this value 0.36 FCK into B into XU limiting multiply by. Now I have to multiply by the lever arm. This much is the force, total force, compressive force. Now lever arm value is D minus 0 0.42 into XU limiting. This is the formula. This is our formula. Now we can substitute the values again in a similar way. Same thing will come. So, FCK is how much? It is 20. B is, B value is 300. XU is K times of D. So, K will be 0 0.48. D is 400. Within bracket, we have 400 minus 0 0.42. Then again, XU limiting that is 0 0.48 into 400. 400. Now, if you divide it by 10 raised to power 6, again, because we not we want to get the value in kilonewton meter. So, again, the value will be same 132.44. Now, I can compare the given MU value. MU was 150 and this MU limiting value. So, let us compare which one is greater. So, here we can observe that our given value of bending moment, ultimate bending moment is greater than MU limiting. Because this value is 150 and this value is 132.44. So, clearly MU is greater. So, in such a scenario, in such a scenario, the design will be done for the doubly reinforced beam. So, the answer will be doubly reinforced beam. Suppose, suppose the value that we have calculated for MU limiting, if it exceeds 150, then the answer will be singly reinforced beam. And if it is equal to 150, in that scenario, we are going to design the balance section only. So, the answer will be balance section. So, here the correct answer is doubly reinforced beam. So, if we go by the option, the correct option is option 2. Now, the next problem says that we have to tell which is the correct grade of the concrete which we have to design if the minimum cement content is 300 kg per meter cube and at the same time the water to cement ratio is 0 
and the answer has to be done according to the IS 456. So if we go by the code, there is a table in which this kind of information is available, where based on the environmental exposure, the values of the different grades of concrete have been suggested. So this is the table which I am talking about. So for the reinforced concrete, this is for RCC. The first thing is for the plain concrete, but here we are designing the RCC section. So we have to look for this table. So for RCC section, for RCC section, if the water cement ratio is 0 0.5 and the minimum cement content is 300, then in that case, the minimum grade of concrete which will be required is M25. So our answer will be M25 for this problem. So the correct answer will be option 3. Option 3 is the correct answer for this. Next is again a rectangular beam is given. The dimensions are known. Even the area of steel that we are going to use and that is provided to us. Grade of concrete and steel are known. They are asking what is the depth of neutral excess. So this is again a straightforward question. Nothing much has to be done here. Directly we have to apply the formula. So we can do one thing. We can equate the tension force and the compression force. So if we equate this tension force and compression force, we get the formula of XU. So what is the tension force? Tension force is 0.87 Fy into AST. And what is compression force? Compression force is 0.36 FCK into B into XU. So from here, we get the formula of XU. So XU is what? XU is 0.87 Fy into AST whole divided by 0.36 FCK into B. So now we can substitute the values. Everything is known to us. So 0 0.87 into 415 into 1346, which is the area of steel, divided by 0.36 into uh, the grade of the concrete, which is M20, multiplied by the width of the section. So on solving this value comes out as 224.98 mm which is somewhat closer to 225 mm. So the correct answer for this will be option 1. Now the last problem which came in this paper was from the pre-stress concrete. So here they are asking that the most suitable method for the pre-tensioned beam is which one among the following. So here we should have knowledge of one thing that the first method, Hoyer method, another name for this is Hoyer's long line method. So this particular method is used in pre-tensioning while the rest three, the remaining three, these are the methods of post-tensioning. These are the method of post-tensioning and the first method is only belonging to the pre-tensioning. So if you have this information, you can mark the correct answer as option 1. So these were the problems from the WRD paper of 2017 from the RCC.